99X, the morning X. Barnes, Leslie, Fram, I know you just got back from a big trip through Europe, a little France, a little Germany. Along the way, did you stumble upon any nudity? You know, interestingly enough, no. Really? No nudity at all. Every time I'm in France, a lot of nudity. Even just at like the local pool, like whatever pool at whatever hotel we might be staying at, even like right in the middle of town, there'll be, and it's just like nothing. People walking around without any clothes on? Seriously? Here I am. But Airbnb, if you're interested in that kind of thing, Airbnb now has some very interesting things popping up. And one of those that I took note of was there is a nudist couple who welcomes you into their 70-foot narrow boat into a naturist heaven where it's all about being nude. So would you like to meet a nudist, Fram? Uh, Bring it on. Say hello to Fiona Discom. Hello, Fiona. Hi. Hi, Baz. Hi, Leslie. Hey, Fiona. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. (laughs) I'm thrown off because... Every picture I've seen of you, you're naked, and right now you're fully dressed. I am. It's cold in the UK. (laughs) How do you even start offering naked Airbnb? How did this come about? Well, um, we were, um, about two years ago, living in a van, and we travelled around Europe and uh, visiting various uh, naturist venues and giving reviews on them. Uh, We did used to have a YouTube channel as well, but unfortunately... Some of the content, it wasn't, it was blanked, Uh but some of the content they didn't like. So they took the the channel down, unfortunately. But it was very informative and it was nothing, nothing sexual on there at all. But they didn't like it. So anyway, we thought this is, this has been such a good opportunity because it's um, somewhere we can live and somewhere we can have ourselves based um, as a business as well. But obviously we have a lot of new nudist followers and they wanted us to sort of have something they could come on a journey with us basically on a cruise if you like along the canals in the uk and be naked how long have you and your husband michael been nudists how long have you been doing this uh, over 20 years wow 20 years and i know I, I saw your story you wanted to kind of live off the grid and you've been through france and all these other places so you found a boat and you've turned this boat into a hotel that's right yeah so um the hotel we can accommodate up to four people on it um be if you bear in mind the narrow boats are small <laughs> it's a very small space but um our boat is like you say 70 foot so it's got the accommodation uh, we've got our end and the guests have the other end um, but there's a you know they can be naked all the time and weather permitting they can go outside and be naked hence a t-shirt <laughs> Right. Well, people are hearing 70-foot boat and probably thinking yacht. Now, it may be 70 feet long, but it's about two feet wide. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's an intimate boat. It looks like one of those containers. Like if you made a, if you took a container and cut out windows. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so then there, it's just floating down the canals of Europe and then there's a bunch of naked people. What is it? I, I don't understand the allure of the nudity publicly what is it about nudists that are different than us that aren't from a from my point of view um mine was from um being free and being liberated because um previously you may have read i had body confidence issues and i think being naked actually improves your body confidence and a lot of people have the same problem as as myself i was quite a curvy lady and growing up there were certain things I didn't like about my body so I used to hide my body but now I feel sort of like well same as Michael he had the same problem my husband he was the same and he was just different he was very thin and not muscular at all and he wanted to sort of try and get away from that so being naked actually makes you very true to yourself and you can accept your body more um, it also has very good health benefits for you as well, your mental well-being, and you know you, you just feel liberated and free. You, you, there's no way, unless you've done it, you can't explain the feeling of it. But like swimming naked, for instance, that's the only thing. If you've ever swum naked and you get out, you haven't got that costume that's clinging to you, and you feel all damp and wet. You know, it's that sort of feeling. It's experience all the elements on your body as well. It's just that sort of feeling. That is the allure for most people, and it can be themselves. It can be their true self. We're talking to Fiona Discom. 
Fiona is a, and you don't really call it a nudist, do you? You're calling it a naturalist? Is that uh, what you're na- saying? Naturist, naturist, yeah. That's what, that's what we're termed as in, in the UK, yeah. Well, Leslie does, Leslie was going to ask this question, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask it because I'm just going to steal it from Leslie because I know you were about to ask this. And this is, I mean, okay, call me stupid, whatever, but I'm, I'm curious what happens when you have a mixed group of people like this and you're on a boat, you're all naked, what happens if one of the males gets excited? And I'm being very serious. Is that considered awkward in the nudist world? Because how could you not? What if you're on a boat and all of a sudden you take a liking to this guest and you're like, you get, I don't know, like what what happens in those situations? To be honest, if you are a true naturist, and, and yes, sometimes that does happen, um, but normally if it does happen, people go and you know, may go into the toilet for a few minutes or go away and they're aware of what's happening. But to be honest, it doesn't happen that often in a naturist environment, you know, um, because if anything, it is not sexually charged. Um, it's not that sort of environment. Maybe you're desensitized because everyone's naked all the time? Yeah, exactly. And you're not, you know, you're it's not a way actually... of life. Yeah, exactly. It's a life choice rather than um, sort of like a sexual thing. And and people sort of say to me, I've had this question before, and people always say to me, you know, how does that happen? And I said, it doesn't because there's no sexual connotation to it at all. And you're looking at people's faces. You're not looking at their genitalia. But no, there is no way you're not looking at the genitalia. There, well, I mean, there's, I mean, the, the mind is programmed. If I, mean, I just don't, I don't believe that. You, you, you would notice it. But what, you know, in a naturist environment, it's very respectful and nobody would, you might like somebody, but you're not going to go up to them with, dare I say it, an erection and just say, hey, how about it? Because it doesn't work like that. Um, you can think it. And yes, I'm sure people do meet like that. Right. But it's not, it's not, and it's sort of like frowned upon a little bit, you know, because then you think to yourself, well, you know, you're here for other reasons, you know, rather than, you know, just being with like-minded people. I'm fascinated by the whole thing. If this is a way of life, you don't think that way. It's just natural. So yeah, I but that's also co- Leslie. That's also natural. What? No pun intended. It would be very hard. I mean, just for me to be in that situation and not have my mind go there. I guess maybe at the beginning. I guess because it's so. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, everyone's naked. Right. But I think if you've been doing it for years and for the reasons that Fiona is, is right. speaking about, I am curious about what the cost is to stay at the hotel because I see that oh. you guys do a home cooked meal. We do, yeah. As well as uh, massages and yoga. Michael's a yoga instructor. So what what is the cost? Because Barnes, you're, Barnes is looking for a place next summer. Uh, Leslie <laughs> is, just got back from Europe. She's already planning. I like that about you, Brilliant. Fran. Oh, I love Good it. Job. I love it. I love it. It's £140 a night, okay? And that's you get a breakfast included with that. Um, meals we can provide for you as well. And people can find you on Airbnb, right? What do they What do they search? It's um, well. It's actually we've actually got our own website, so we, you can find us on Airbnb as well. It's um, oh. it's narrowboathotel.com is where is our website. But if they just um, Google the Whistling Swan narrowboat, they'll find us on Airbnb. The, the Whistling Swan. The Whistling Swan. Swan. Whistling I love Swan. it. That's the name of the narrowboat. I truly am fascinated by the whole thing you have <laughs> going on. Great to meet you. Thank you so much, Fiona. Thank you so much. That's lovely. The Morning X X. with Barnes and Leslie. 99X.